Uh, well, dang. Um, <laughs> uh, I've tried to film this video like three times, and I'm um, trying to do it all in one take, but <laughs> it's not working. So let me just uh, let me just pour it out for you guys. If you haven't seen my video, um, I'm turning 21 and I'm healing. You should probably watch that before you watch this video. Um, but let me just be honest. Um, over the last couple months, I've felt like I've been in a real like spiritual battle. I've been dealing with severe anxiety and severe um, discouragement, um, and and it's come through a number of ways. Whether it be producing something, releasing something, and not getting the response that I wanted, or maybe it's comments or or other things that have have led me to this point, or or whether it's just not seeing as much of what I want to see, like not seeing enough, enough people helped or enough people responding or, or, or just generally in my life, seeing that questioning, um, if I'm just a total failure, you know what I'm saying? Like it just gets down to that point where, um, it's this kind of like self hate, like you're never on your own side, like you're always, you're always on the side of people that are saying what you do is not enough, what you do, you know, you're always on the side of, of the voices in your head that are telling you, you are a failure and that you shouldn't have even tried that you should have just quit. Um, you're always on the you're always on that side, like, I, I always feel like I'm on the side of saying, you're right. It wasn't good enough. You're right. I, 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 I didn't work hard enough. You're right. I, 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 I'm not, I can't do this. You're right about that. Like feeding into those voices. And, and I, I, I just think, man, where does this, where is this coming from? For me, it's not like anybody in my life really is like putting this pressure on me to, to, to succeed or to, you know, to become this, the, whatever, you know, that's all me. But, but at the same time, I'm kind of done with, with downplaying how, how I'm feeling in this, because for a while it's just like, well, it's just all internal. So, you know what, whatever, you know, but, but this is real. And this is like crippling for me. It's the biggest thing that I, that I battle on a consistent basis it is this, this self hate, this, this remembering things that I wish I would have done differently, or I didn't do well enough, or maybe people think I'm stupid or, or, or whatever, you know what, like, I just find myself not being able to, not being able to rest. And, and just, I guess I want to reiterate something that I might have already said, but it's just for me, it is what it is. You know, I think we all, to a certain degree, battle with shame and, and some of us more so than others. And we get this, we get in this space where we are understanding the gospel in terms of our sin against God and how we are, we are supposed to, you know, repent of our sins, obviously, and that we are, um, we are broken and sinful, obviously right? And that we learn that from the Bible, right? But for a lot of us and myself included, and I'm just going to speak from my personal experience, the biggest challenge of my life has been to realize that I'm forgiven, to realize and truly, honestly believe that I'm not, to put it frankly, wretched anymore, to, to, that I am not depraved anymore, that I'm not a sinner anymore. Because those are not, that's not my identity anymore. But yet those are the places I revert back to. I revert back to saying, of course, you didn't do this, right? You're an idiot, right? That's why you need God. You're stupid, right? You're, you're a failure. That's why you need God. But I, I justify it because I'm saying, yeah, of course, we're all, you know, we're all broken. So this is actually okay. Like I can be talking to myself like this. And I think a lot of us justify that and saying, no, we're just being theologically correct. Yeah. 
But the problem is, is that we're not actually understanding that the gospel has implications and the gospel's implications is that we are not <laughs> like self-hate. And this is what I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to believe this self-hate is not compatible with the gospel. Because I think for a lot of us, well, you know, I'm just going to talk about myself. For me, that was my, based on, not from my parents or the people in my church, just kind of things I was listening to online. That was what I took away from it. Like self-hate, like you should hate yourself. And that, that shows God how much um, you hate sin because you hate yourself then, then that's a sign of God. It's a sign just like, that's showing God, Hey, look, God, I'm really sorry for my sin. So I hate myself. And I think I got in this habit of saying, and for a while there, I, I definitely had this habit of kind of in my head saying every time I did something stupid, just, Oh my goodness, you're an idiot. Of course you did that. You're stupid. And I kind of cut that out a little bit, but I'm still in this place where I just feel like there are certain triggers for sure that can get me, I don't know, like in this place where I want to just throw in the towel, you know, whether it's something that, okay, maybe I'll just, this is, I'm just talking now, whatever. Um, I think sometimes I think I'm too sensitive for, to, to pursue this kind of like what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to impact people's lives. I'm trying to in, inspire and encourage people to follow Jesus. I'm trying to sh help them follow Jesus daily as a daily disciple. But sometimes I just feel like maybe I'm just too sensitive for this job, you know, like, like I'm, like me, not necessarily like hate comments get to me, but it's more, it's more the things that are more close, you know, things that I work really hard on and put out, put them out and then they don't get good responses or, or it's just always a sense that it's never enough. And so I find myself, I find myself racking my brain for something that will make it enough, you know, instead of coming from a place of excitement or or inspiration, or love for God, or, or, or a desire to communicate an important message that spoke to my heart, I find myself moving to this place where I'm in kind of a panic, because I want to make this work, because if I can't, um, if I can't get people to notice me, then I've failed. If I can't be seen by somebody, then I'm nothing. Dang, I didn't think this was going to go this deep. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is, is that as much as you may think that, I don't know where you're at or what your your thing is, but it, you may look at my life and you say, oh, that guy's faith, he's got it really solid or whatever. But I'm constantly struggling to believe that did like I don't want you guys to be concerned in terms of like oh my goodness Isaac's losing his faith but but I'm but I'm constantly in this space where I'm not questioning Jesus or the resurrection or or any of that I'm I'm struggling to believe that that there is that he is the ultimate good that that regardless of of my dreams of of my failures and successes my my love for him and my affection for him is what is most important and i'm and i'm and i'm struggling to believe that even amidst my <clears throat> my my struggles and God still wants me
But but at the same time, I want to give you a little bit of insight into why I keep going. I feel so deeply within myself that I have a purpose. I don't know exactly what it means to, what I'm supposed to do with that purpose, but I know deep within my soul that I'm here to create for God, that I'm here to whatever it is, to write, to film, to talk, to whatever it is, you know, for God, to create for God. That's all I know, really. I don't, I don't know how all this stuff is going to turn out. And that scares me. And that keeps me up in the middle of the night. Honestly, it really does. And I don't want it to. And I, and I posted something the other day that said, you know, um, whatever worry is keeping you up in the middle of the night, God is bigger than let your first act of faith be resting well. Let that be your first act of faith. And I think, I think I need to learn to not be okay. Like my definition of okay needs to change because I think I'm holding myself to a standard where I'm, 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 I need to perform perfectly. I need to have the answers. I need to have a plan. I need to have a strategy. That strategy needs to be going well. I need to be working productively and efficiently as possible at this expectation but I think I need to get okay with I need to become okay with with not being that sense of okay I need to be okay with having questions and having doubts and in and, and in some ways that could it's not like I'm giving up but but I want my first act of faith to be trusting God beginning to really trust God despite not having the answers to this stuff despite not truly in my being feel like I've believed what he says about me <sighs> I don't know guys that's that's all I got I wanted to come on here and tell you what's up um, before I leave, um, I just want to thank you guys on Patreon. It's a huge blessing and, and as much disappointment and struggle and, and, and just whatever there's been, um, I'm thankful for you guys there sticking beside me. And if you're watching this video, thank you for watching this video and, um, God bless guys.